Hello everybody. Now some of you may have seen the video I did on the Zero touch plate and the thought occurred to me that maybe I could use this to find the centre of circles. So I did a bit of research and it turns out that it's quite easy to do this. All you need is the appropriate bit of VB script and insert it into the button on the Mac 3 offsets page. So this is how you do it. So here we are in Mac 3 and the button we want to edit is in the offsets page. That's this tab here or Alt 5. So you should have something that looks a bit like this. It might not be exactly the same as my configuration but it will be something similar. You should have four edge finding probes and a center probe and this is the center one we need to program. So the way to do that is go to operator and select edit button script. Now what should happen is that you'll find that a number of these buttons are pulsing the four edge finders, the center finder there and a few others. So simply click on the center one and we are presented with the VB script editing page. So I've got the VB script we require over here in a notepad file. Now you can find this uh, below the video in my comments section. So simply control A, capture it all, capture it, go back into the VB editing page, click in there to make it active, then control V and paste it in. And that's it now file, save, and that's it. And we can kill that. So what should happen now is what, when we press this button here, we see the X button is starting to move, the X axis. Now because there is no tool in this particular device at the moment. This is just a demo piece of software. This will carry on forever. So we'll stop that. If you've already implemented the zero axis touch probe, there's nothing more you need to do as regards wiring. But in case you have not, here it is again. And this is the section of the circuit we're interested in. We've got to configure the set height probe through one of these inputs, which I've used input three. So we've got the Z height probe connections through this pin 3 into input 3 which is driving the opto isolator here and that goes out through pin 12 and pin 12 is the one we must configure in the ports and pins section of the Mac 3 configuration so remember pin 12 and remembering that the input pin on the Uniport board is pin 12, we go to the Ports and Pins dialog box, choose Input Signals, scroll down to Probe, and we need to enable it. It's already set to port 1, and the pin number is 12. We also need to check Active Low 
and click on the apply button and that's it. Okay this is the setup and we're going to be using one of these Chinese engraving tools to engrave some script around this surface. That's a 60 degree tool. But first we will assemble the tool the wrong way around in the collet. So we'll fit it that way around in the collet and with that we will find the centre of the of the part. So I'll do that now. So there is the shank of the tool, you can scarcely see it, but the shank of the tool is now below the surface of the part and I'm simply going to hold the probe touch plate against the part there to get the connection and then I'll click on the button to centre the part. centered in the part. It must be noted that this piece of VB script for the centering does not at all adjust the X and Y values in the DROs. You have to set them to your own particular values. In this case it's just zero and zero. I've now got the tool fitted the right way around now and I'm going to find the surface of the part. Right, we're all set up to engrave the part, so here we go. Thought about at the outset. So there you go. Such is life. 